different scenario, but we are receiving a harmonized view at the high level where automation is enabled and where it's possible to have a good starting point for an organization to drill deeper into the problems. One thing we've learned from our implementations is to never assume that there is an attribute or hierarchy or characterization which is local and not needed. There is almost always a need for deviation. In the chart of accounts or in hierarchies, how should we standardize yet accommodate for variations? Top standardization is a very common technique for recursive and network recursive hierarchies as shown here. In the leveled hierarchy below, which is our brand hierarchy example from earlier, where each level has a specific name and attributes, creating lower level categorizations for local or functional reporting while the top level remains the standard for global and strategic reporting is a much better option than the tree-to-tree -tree mapping we had before. In the recursive or network recursive hierarchies like chart of accounts, creating top-level account structures that can be extended below for local or functional allocations is common as well. Let me provide a quick summarization of the last 15 minutes. Use external standards where possible. This reduces the onus on defining what should be the standard. Always account for merges and splits, even if it has never happened before. Same with expirations. These are standard change management techniques, which, if accounted for ahead of time, can significantly accelerate implementation of change as well as reduce the impact and effort. Create supersets with usage context. One without the other will not resolve the issue. In the absence of a superset, there is no gold standard, as variations are not accounted for. In the absence of usage contexts, there is no way to enforce the prescribed standard that we want to enforce. Look for low-hanging fruit if it works. Remember, the least common denominator approach or the 80-20 rule. Assume variations and deviations are real and account for them up front, rather than trying to force fit a square peg into a round hole. Top standardization and entity splits are two of several options that allow for this. Quantitative domains. Standardization process is straightforward and formal. The definition becomes easy if the process of standardization is clear and follows a non-subjective approach. Decomposition, if it can be done, is by far the best approach for analytical reporting and derived hierarchy creation. Creating a top hierarchy with no support at the MDM and transactional layer is a high maintenance effort, not to mention low accuracy ratio. Redundancy control, if it can be achieved with decomposition, would give you both the analytical attributes for reporting as well as the consolidation parameters. Attribute map or matrix is a good solution for hierarchy to hierarchy mapping if it cannot be avoided. With that, we complete the discussion on the different techniques and we're going to look at overall reference data management, at least at a very high level. Generally, the business focuses on definition, governance, change management, and needs a tool to help them manage reference data. IT, as the support organization, defines the persistent model, infrastructure, and the data interfaces and mapping. Again, categorization and demarcation is at a very high level. We get to turn to data foundations and our product one data, which happens to be an excellent product that encompasses all these functions. Model definition, the management of reference data, governance and change management, interfaces, all in one application. Before we move on to a Q&A, where of course we'd like some questions regarding one data, I, I'd like to talk a little bit about the tool. Uh, for reference data management and hierarchy management and, uh, and oh yeah, domain harmonization. 
Okay, so depicted in the center of this slide is one data's repository with three different areas or schemas. The staging or work area is where initial creation of repository content, whether hierarchies or other master data sets or changes to content are made. This is the area dedicated to authoring, import, cleansing, and supporting a highly collaborative workflow and change management. On successful completion of the workflow process, configured around data changes, the changes are released either in real time or scheduled in a time-bound queue into the deployment or release area where it can be subsequently distributed to downstream applications and recipients throughout the enterprise. The metadata area pictured at the top left stores metadata used internally by OneData for a variety of purposes. This can include user and authorization information, workflow rules, exit procedures, business rules, and so on. The rich functionality of OneData comprehensively supports the end-to-end -end lifecycle management of the data sets stored in the repository, from modeling the data to authoring and import to hierarchy management and versioning, to workflow and collaboration, to business rules, to fine-grained security down to the cell level, as well as the deployment downstream. It helps maintain data quality and enforce governance standards. Matching, cleansing, the duplication, and auto-grouping are built into the solution as is an asynchronous messaging framework and support for SOA. In brief, one data can build and maintain different types of hierarchy structures, uh, ragged, network recursive, leveled, and so on, and it provides the necessary tools for comprehensively managing hierarchies and reference data, including different change management strategies, workflow and stewardship, and security controls, and that brings us to the end of our presentation on reference data harmonization. If we've raised some questions regarding theory or best practices here, please feel free to contact me directly at cgreenberg at datafoundations.com. And of course, if you have an interest, a curiosity as to how our data management framework tool one data actually supports data harmonization, we'd be more than happy to show you that as well. Goodbye and thanks for watching.